What's up guys, and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband with your host, the head hipster, and our knight-to-be, Sir Nippleton of the Nipple Kingdom. Now, uh, since our last adventure in Calradia, I basically just sold off a bunch of our crap. You know, the stuff we earned in past skirmishes, and, um, yeah, that's about it. I've also recruited a couple more guys from this city here, and I'm going to go see if I can recruit some from this one here. I say city, but it's more of a town. A hamlet, if anything at all. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, just adjusted my... Ooh, What's hello. Then, eh? Way to start the episode off with a bang, Mr. Looter. Charge the enemy and kill them to death. Please be flatland. Yes! Oh, I love flat I love flat terrain because it just gives my uh, gives my troops such an advantage. Also gives me an advantage too, you know. Since I'm on horseback, it's no fun riding up hills on a horse. But you probably knew that already. And if you didn't, now you know. So into the fray. That's two down already. See, these guys really picked a bad day to mess with Lord Nippleton. Or Sir Nippleton, I should say. Because, unfortunately, Sir Nippleton has been in Calradia for at least a week now, and he hasn't found any booze. So, right now, he is sober as, I don't know, a priest? Are priests sober? I'd assume some of them are, but yeah, he's pretty sober right now, and this is not the best time to be messing with him. I want my bows! Oh, dang it. Okay, hold up, hold up. Let's see if we can not. Bows! You know what, screw it. Um, let's pull out the old sword. Ooh, nice. Didn't expect it to hit him there, actually. Ah, oh, dang it. Combo. Lost. Nice, and that was our Swadian Militia, picking off some of the looters from a distance. Boom! I may have said this last episode, but I said it, said it in passing, so in case you missed it, uh, here it is again. Usually, I play through this game, and I don't really leave anyone alive, and if I leave anyone alive, I let him run away. Um, I don't take prisoners because the slave there's slavery in this game. You know, you can sell people for money, which is essentially the definition of slavery. So I'm not really into slavery, seeing as slavery is ugly. And I know this is a game and all, but still, it's it just really makes me uncomfortable. So yeah, I did it once for the achievement, the Steam achievement, but uh, that was about it. I can let. I think we can let the, uh... Oh! Oh, wow! Hold up, hold up. We're, we're not even going the right way. I was trying to head back to my troops, but, uh... Let's talk about how good that, uh... Weaving through the tree is, man! That was, that was awesome! I was like... I was like Tarzan on a horse. Anyways... There we go. Boom! 60 damage! Nice job, Nippleton! Woo! Yeah, but we don't take prisoners, so... Ooh! Is this any better than my... No, not really. So, what we're gonna do is... Collect all this stuff. And I know a lot of this... I'm not gonna collect the rocks, though, because... Really, one? It's not even worth it by that point. <sighs> but I'm really, really liking this spear, because usually I play this game, and if I'm on horseback, I'm going to use a lance or, you know, a sword. I dare you live from limb. But uh, the spear is actually working out pretty well. I can see it being uh, mid-game. I can see me using it up till the mid-game. But it uh, seems like we have some more looters. Itching for battle, so give them what they want. Give the people what they want. I mean, giving giving the people what they want. That's not what I'm trying to say. Giving people what they want all the time isn't the best thing. I mean, look at what uh, look at what Pilate did. I mean, he gave them Caesar, and they, you know, crucified him. 
Moral of the story, don't be pilot. Pilot wasn't that great. Unless you like, like pilot, then by all means. Yeah, anyways, that was enough of a ramble. Oh, nice! Okay, so we're gonna run this guy down like a dog! And then we're going to kill his friends. This spear is so great! Okay, this... I am really liking this thing. Okay, so... Make a sweeping pass. And then see if we can try that again. On this guy. Nice. Now, actually, one thing I did feel was missing from this game was gore. Like, I mean, I'm not a fan of, like, gore. Like, I mean, I... A little bit of gore is okay. Like, I can play Gears of War without flinching, but it's just like, I feel like this game could, could, it would be cool if you had decapitations and stuff and limb severing and, I just feel like that'd be a cool addition. There's a mod, but you have to start a whole new game for it. And plus, a lot of my viewers may be a little younger and they may not like seeing all that, uh, all those limbs flying and such, so, you know, whatever. Maybe they'll have it in Banner Lord, who knows. Anyways. Boom! Oh. Okay, so we're gonna ride out a little, and then make a circle, or not a circle, a U-turn. See if we can keep up the speed. Nice! That was, that was amazing, honestly. Where are you two going? Get over here! This course is really good. I'm, I'm just seeing it. I noticed it in the last episode, but I thought, you know, maybe, maybe, I don't know what I thought, but this horse is, like, really fast extremely fast for, you know, a first first horse you get in the game. Usually, it's the horses you get are kind of crap. But, uh, you know, what can you do? Anyways, let's see. We got a lot of good stuff here. We're gonna go ahead and sell as much as we can carry. That's about it. And then we are going to go back to Suno and, nope, we're not gonna hit those looters. Not until we sell off our stuff. And maybe get some new, get some new armor, weapons, I don't know. Uh, marketplace, arms. Just sell all of this. Apparently that's all he can hold. We'll sell the rest to the armor smith. That's about it. Ooh, yes. I do plan on getting one of these sweet, you know, these sweet metal sets, uh, full plate sets in the game, or at least this gameplay, but uh, as of now, we aren't strong enough, and quite frankly, it's too expensive, but uh, yeah. Any cheap two-handed swords? Any cheap one-handed or two-handed swords? Not seeing any. I mean, yeah, of course you got these, but those are really expensive. So, we're not going to focus on those. Excuse me while I adjust my seat in the chair, or my sitting. Yeah, we're not going to... That sucks, actually. Okay, now let's see if we can buy anything. 19. Yeah, let's, let's start spending some money on armor. Uh... Ooh. That looks cool. Oh, yes. But, uh, we'll probably have to put back the, uh, we'll have to put that back. We are left without protection. Where's my hat? Yeah, here it is. I was about to say, like, where's my hat? And that's all our money. Now we're gonna have to go, you know, shake these looters down for cash. We can find them. There you are. 
Yes. You better not be a man hunter. I am a man hunter, and I'm going to hunt you. That was a pretty bad impression, but you know, who cares? Alright, everybody. Um, you will not be charging, you will actually be holding this position. Where are. I'm not seeing anybody. Though I'm about to smack right into them. Oh, there they are. Make a sweeping pass. Yeah. Up, up, tree. Look out for that tree. Yes, but it seems I am outnumbered. Though numbers matter a little to Sir Nippleton. Though he, uh, yeah. Yes, he remembers one. I remember one time on occasion when Sir Nippleton was su was surrounded by 600 enemy troops, and he fought off two of them before a stray rock hit his head and knocked him unconscious. But that's beside the point. The point is, he decided to stay instead of fleeing like a coward. For fleeing is not the Nippleton way. Ooh. Split his belly open like an old woman's purse. Ooh. Some nice bonuses there, but as you can see, we've killed quite a few of them. We're gonna knock the number down to at least five before we take them back to our troops. I may underestimate them, you know, they might go extremely ham, but I don't know, I try not to give them the benefit of the doubt so I don't lose anyone. New enemies have arrived. Okay, that's that's great to know. Boom. And it seems like a couple stragglers have ran into my uh my assembly of men. And they're being struck down with extreme prejudice. There we are. Boom! Okay, you know what? We can we can take them on back to the folks. There. Shouldn't be too difficult. Not too difficult at all. Hope the video isn't too dark, like, because Sony Vegas has to, er, has problems sometimes where the video gets too dark or too light or something. And it's really annoying. Hopefully we don't have that problem here. Right. Did anyone else feel like pitching in? No? Okay. I was hoping there would be more than one person who was armed for ranged combat. But, uh... Life's full of disappointments. There we go. Oh! He's trying to run! Max Jump! He's trying to run! Oh, that, that was one of the highlights from some of a comedian named Sinbad's stand up. It was pretty good, pretty good. Good comedian. I was talking about uh, stuff I probably won't address on this channel. But, uh, it seems I've run out of interesting things to say and interesting stories to tell about Sir Nippleton's bravery. Alright, come here, you. There we go. Is that all of them? They seem to be fleeing. Uh, charge. Alright, let's see if, how, if we can cut them down before they get out of the border. I see one. We'll most definitely get this guy, right? Right? Definitely. And he got away. That's all right. 15 killed, or 16 killed, one wounded and two routed. That's awesome. Ooh, 
some nice stuff to sell, and then we will be off. I wish you could like quick select everything and just drag it over to the inventory. That makes things so much easier. Uh, yeah, looks like that's about all we can carry and we can go now. Marketplace. You can't carry anything else, can you? No, I didn't think so. So, we will just be selling all of this to you. And bada bing, bada boom. We're gonna get quite a bit of money off of these guys. Which then can be put towards upgrading my troops, cause that is not free, actually. It costs like 15 gold, I think. Something crazy. Uh, here we go. 28 gold. There we go. Uh, we'll, we'll get a Swadian Footman. Swadian Footman can then be upgraded to uh, something really awesome later on in the game. How much money do we have? Approximately 300 coins. 330 if we want to be precise. And now we will be he heading towards Craven. See if we can enlist in the King's Army. Although Lord Nippleton for prefers fighting under his own banner, he realizes that his banner is no use to him if he's broke. 